Hi, my name is Megan and today I'm going to talk about deregulation and privatization. Before the 1990s, the world has experienced much of a command economy, especially in Asia and Eastern Europe. However, in the past two decades, we have seen a trend towards growing free market economies instead with the help of deregulation and privatization. After the collapse of communism that was seen around the world by the end of the 20th century, many command economies began to make the transition into becoming a market-based economic system. In order to become a market-based economic system, economies must go through deregulation and privatization. Deregulation involves removing legal restrictions from a market and allowing them to operate freely. In a command economy, governments typically have tight control over prices and the amount of output. The amount of enterprises that are allowed to operate f privately were few and limited. Private enterprises were banned from many sectors of the economy, and foreign enterprises were not allowed to invest a lot of capital into the domestic economy. In command economies, international trade was also not encouraged, as countries were taught to be self-sustaining. With deregulation, however, the economy operates more as a free market. Price controls are removed and are instead set by competition, meaning demand and supply will ultimately set the price. Private enterprises are encouraged rather than banned by the government. Lastly, companies are allowed to receive foreign direct investment from offshore companies with fewer restrictions from the government. China is a great example of a country that has deregulated its economy. After the death of Mao Zedong and the election of the next leader, Deng Xiaoping, the country opened up to the rest of the world and began to do business internationally. There are now many countries that are injecting foreign capital into China, and prices are set highly by supply and demand between competition. With deregulation also comes an increase in privatization. Privatization happens when state-owned assets are transferred into the hands of private enterprises, often through an auction. Privatization has many benefits on the economy, especially in the form of stimulation. When private owners have the incentive of making profits, they are more motivated to search for ways to increase productivity, thus making the economy more efficient and profitable. An economy that has undergone major privatization in the recent 30 years would be the one of the former Soviet Union. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, countries began to make a trend towards privatization in order to allow the economy to grow. Some of the countries in the former Soviet Union, such as Russia, are now on the rise in the global economy. Their new leader, Boris Yeltsin, made the bold move of suggesting free prices for Russia, which was something that its citizens were not used to. Although Russia does not quite have a free economy yet, they are undergoing the process. So there we have it, deregulation and privatization. They often come hand in hand when talking about a free economic system. There cannot be a free market economy without those two aspects, which today is really the only way to be able to compete with larger world powers.